And it's uh, going to be between Allura as well as Manju. Impurity will send out Manju and Allura from Mana Search as well. So that said, it's uh, Allura did win the previous game just now, so he's going to be playing the Warlock again. I think it should still be the Handlock. Manju, however, will go with the Mage instead, and that is pretty much a very interesting surprise. Maybe no, maybe not much of a surprise for Jerts, who is my co-caster, uh, because he did anticipate <laughs> that. Uh, you know, if you have a Mage, you can always bring that out. But anyway, the game has started. So, yeah, Jerts, what do you think? The Mage against the Warlock. This is the the most classic build of the mage deck again. I mean, there's really only two decks floating around now, right now, which is sort of aggro. I guess there is that Mur Murloc one. I wouldn't even include that in the list. But yeah, you can you can rush down with the mage, or you can control with the mage. And this one's all about getting to sort of turn seven and eight and stuff, and start flinging fireballs with the Archmage Antonidas. Um, I love it. I played it for a long time. This deck. Um, I, I think it's got a chance versus Handlock. But uh, it's not definitely a hard counter in my eyes. Um, okay. It's it's got some answers for the big minions, you know. He's got a BGH in there, and he drew that straight off the bat. So, um, you know, like if there is an early mountain giant, he'll have an answer for it, which is uh, a good thing for Manju. Exactly. So now we have the handlock just tapping away. No mountain giant whatsoever. Just that, even if he has that BGH, it's going to be a hard counter for the mountain giant. Um, now Manju will have, uh, or Manju will have the Bleeder Ping, the Warlock, and that's it. He doesn't really have an early game play as well. He can coin into Yeti next turn, but he doesn't, he doesn't have a turn for to play in that case. Oh, there, there we go, Archmage Antonidas. Hmm, love that card. Look, you can get so much value out of that. Um, flinging Firewalls is just so much fun. And, uh,. Pretty much my favorite hero from Warcraft 3 was the Archmage, so yeah, I'm, I'm a full fan of it. Uh, look at this Chilwin Yeti, such a menacing presence straight up there. Um, only to be countered by Twilight Drake with more hit points. <laughs> yep, and Maju doesn't really have an answer for this right now. Uh, he cannot BGH that because it's only 4 damage and it's uh, 1 health of a dragon. It's uh, Drake, sorry, it's got like 9 health. So now I guess he probably. Sorry. It's 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 fine. I think you know, like it's it's totally fine. None of these things can really kill each other, um, but that's not a problem. You don't have to have hard removals or spells to maintain board control. You can just simply one up the opponent with board presence. That's that's always a fine play. Um, so yeah, I, I wouldn't be too worried about not being able to get rid of a minion off the opponent's board this early in the game. You know. Um, the only actual problem is that uh, he can't get another minion to do that one up really. He wants to keep the big GH, so not really any sort of answers for his turn four. Not really any good plays. Um, yeah, I guess you just do drop the Blood Mage. Um, I don't know, you kind of want that for spell power as well, but by playing that he's obviously just saying, look, if it dies, it dies. Um, if you can kill it, then good luck to you, and I'll just pull a card from it. It's basically a cantrip. Yep, yeah. and I do believe that the Warlock is... Well, the Warlock has a defender Argus, and in that sense, it kind of kills the Yeti very nicely, and it ends up with a 5-5. Mm. So that would be the ultimate answer. Absolutely. Um... So just throwing it straight on back over to the mage here, um, and he's got some more options, but none of them are really too pretty. Um, yeah, look, grow the mana worm, use your spells. Probably the best opportunity to use the arcane explosion. Kind of rare to see that card these days, but good on him for playing it. Um, very good for uh, for what could have been a rush warlock, so that's fine. Fine to have that in the deck. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, what options does Lura have card wise there? Uh, Leroy Jenkins, a Mountain Giant, which you just top deck, the Power of Worming, double Earthen Ring Fasir, which is not really what he wants to play right now. He also has got a uh, Tom Providing Minion, is, uh, one, one of them is the Sun Fury Protector and Hellfire. I guess Hellfire here would not really work, unless he heals up first, but even then he doesn't have enough mana to play both. Yeah, the I'm guessing he's gonna. The Hellfire. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, okay, look, that's great. 
make your taunt nice and fat. That's good. That's a good thing. There's nothing wrong with healing a taunted large health creature um, just to secure board presence. A lot of people just sort of knee jerk react and have to heal their hero. That's not the case. Um, empowering the board is what's going to win the game. So that's great. Good little play there by Allura. I respect that. And now, mind um, you, and we'll now have. We've yeah, we'll have two as you Drake and effectively can be looking to play the Savannah's Rerunner as well. What do you think? Yeah, look, he he's doing it but reluctantly, I would say, because um, sure, this gives an opportunity to, to steal a minion maybe, but he really wants to be stealing giants. So um, even though there's no giants on the board, I guess it does kind of prevent him from prevent Allura from putting one on the board. I guess he could put a Mountain Giant on the board right now, but probably doesn't want to, um, knowing that it could be stolen next turn by Savannah. So actually, probably a pretty decent play. Um, yeah, actually, I like that better than the Azure Drake as the option. Okay, and he drops the Giant anyway, so let's silences, see what happens now. He silences the uh, Savannah as well, so... Oh, that's... excellent. Well, that's the perfect response from Allura. That's just sad, so... Um, okay, surprisingly, it seems like he will run the 5-4 into the 5-5, five five, and that's okay. We are s I'm expecting BGH for sure. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, BGH, and then um, he can actually clear the board here if he wants to. That's really good. Um, I guess you do use the Frostbolt in this case. Um, the only other opportunity to use a Frostbolt would be to prevent some mountain giant da or some giant damage later. Um, but yeah, yeah, he's actually not in a terrible position. Um, the only other reason he might want to keep that Frostbolt is so that he could start generating fireballs with Antonidas on turn 9 um, or, or something like that. Um, so yeah, he's sort of just deciding now. Uh, oh wait, no, he's thrown it over to Lurus, so it's Lurus turn, right? Yep, uh, he plays the Molten Giant. We just another 8-8 eight eight here, okay. and this time around, Manju will not have much of an answer. Yeah, that's right. Um, I haven't seen any polymorphs in the deck. Um, quite often, a deck like this will just run one polymorph as well. So um, maybe this one's a 0 to 1 polymorph deck. Um, I would hope that it'd have two, though, knowing he's coming up against the handlock. I didn't quite see what he constructed. So, um, so But anyway, what's he going to do now? That's the real question. And uh, he can freeze it up. Uh, but I don't know if he wants to. Uh, maybe the play is sort of just, you know, you go can, get some board presence and Frostbolt, or as you would Drake and Frostbolt and stop that giant, and then hope to burn it down with a flame strike or something like that later. Um, what would your play be here, Babel? Um, freeze the molten, molten giant first. Um, yeah. Generally, we think about it next turn. <laughs> Hopefully, you get yeah. a, a little bit of uh, extra answer. You can play the Azure Drake first and freeze it. I like that a little bit better. Or you can just man up, take it, damage, play Crumb Blood Hoof. Uh, yeah, I guess I would actually go for Azure Drake and Frostbolt rather than the Crumb Blood Hoof. Yeah, I do like the Azure Drake. And uh, both are fine, but if you do the Drake, you draw a card, gives you another option, and then the Giant's in um, Flame Strike range for the next turn. Yep. Um, so, so you got to start okay. thinking with mage. It's all about two steps ahead, you know. Yeah, but it, it is. And now it's back to Alura's turn. He gets a ancient watcher, but that's not really gonna help him much as well. We do see Electraza coming in here, so maybe he can try and turn on a little bit of extra aggro mode on, seeing how he's got Leroy Jenkins as well as a power overwhelming and even the soul fire. That's 14 damage. In one turn and a hellfire as well uh, causing just only a total of eight mana there so if he does decide to go aggro there's still a huge chance he can win this game um, but yeah he does also have the other room facility to heal up the 8-5 into 8-8 again which I think it's a very safe play yeah absolutely look he's got so much burst damage potential over the next few turns by what you've said there in his in his hand um, there is absolutely nothing wrong with you know, starting the play. He's got a giant on the board. Um, that's probably about as good presence as you would need to start such a such a um, combination of things. So, yeah, you were right. You predicted it well. He did heal up his own mountain giant. That's good. And still six mana to spend. 
Yeah, he's actually looking for life tap, which is not really encouraged here because you're playing against a mage that throws fireball. Yeah, that's right. But um, he's put up the Sanctuary Protector to create some taunts um, away from the Mountain Giant, meaning that um, maybe that Mountain Giant can get a few extra hits in than normally it wouldn't because it's protected by the wall. Um, so that's that's a pretty common play for handlocks to do and, and just people in general. Um, I don't mind it. But yeah, he's on 17 health, so there's always that opportunity of getting bursted down somehow. Yeah, by a mage. And giant dies very quickly. Um, because of the ping there, flame strike, everything else goes. So even with the heal there, Lura is still behind with all that play. So it's a lot of value here for Manju. Yeah, value's the word. Um, huge value. Flame strike's one of those. Was well, probably the best AOE out there that I can think of. It's just being so solid with four across the board, big big numbers. Um, so what does Alura do here now? He has got Twilight Drake that he just top decked. He can play that. Um, it's pretty tricky. He doesn't really have an answer for the four five on the field. So probably gonna try life tap here. Um, playing Electraza on aggro mood is good, but I guess generally, hopefully the mage gets a little bit defensive and tries to clear Electraza next turn, which we all know he doesn't have an answer. Unless he gets mm, very lucky. That's right. and, uh, unless he gets very lucky and the Azure Drake plus four, all four bolts of the RK missile, which is 50% times 50% times 50% times 50% hits the Electraza. <laughs> and as you can say, as you can see there, it's not impossible, but very, very unlikely. So very far, unlikely. Mortal I think Coil. 12 and a half wow. Why wouldn't he do it the other way, like so far first? Oh, he's afraid that he loses the Mortal Coil, that's why. But he loses Leroy Jenkins as a trade, and that is expensive. Yeah, that is expensive, you know. That's that's a prime finisher um, for this deck. And uh, top deck of a Polymorph. That's oh, beautiful. Wow, yeah. This wow, is just you've got to accept so that. Wild. Manju right now. Absolutely. Um, I have to say that the mage deck does kind of rely on having a good mana curve and having the right cards a little bit. Um, but yeah, this is a prime position. Polymorph sat in um, as you're Drake on the board, got board control, drew a card, and uh, in a position to start playing Antonidas next turn. Now, oh, he got he's that thrown out the arcane. Oh, so I was just going to say, yeah, look, he, he's got the bursting down potential. Um, still two fireballs in his deck somewhere, and then Archmage Antonidas can create more. But I personally probably kept the missiles to, until after I had Archmage Antonidas out, just to draw that fireball and get some guaranteed damage, you know? Um, yeah. That's my personal play, but yeah. I agree completely. Now he's going to have to play the... Uh... Oh wow, he's gonna have to play the Mountain Giant and Pablo overwhelming the ship. It's one hell of a crazy ship running into Azure Drake and taking it down like that. <laughs> it's a crazy ship. But uh, man, I, if, if I saw that, you know, running towards me, I'd probably just kill over and die as well. So I, I don't blame that poor Drake. Um, Alright, so what's the play here? I guess you throw out Antonidas and draw? I don't know. Um, I would do that, I would do that. Um, without a doubt, Antonidas and draw. That's uh, that's my play. You get one extra card, sorry, two cards from Arcane Intellect, and you get one fireball. Um, which, which again is a lot of uh, problem because the Archmage is not very easy to deal with. Of course, the Giant's gonna have the pressure to take it down, unless of course Alura top stacks a Soulfire, runs the Hellfire, and a Soulfire to win this game. So that's nothing I can say. <laughs> I oh mean, crazy things have happened on EGTN TV, sorry, EGTN, <laughs> crazy things have happened and I've seen it. Um, but the other option now that I think about it would be that the Azure Drake maybe draws an extra card, Drake AI, and then you're drawing um, three cards. Um, what does he need to get rid of this giant? That's the question, because this another coming polymorph. down, um, it's got to be another polymorph, so he needs to draw a poly. Um, oh, he's got Ice Block in the deck, and that'll keep him alive for one more turn. Yep. I am being yep. old. So no Soul Fire whatsoever yet. Does he does he tap to get a Soul Fire? Does he want a Soul Fire that badly? Yeah. He does win with that, so we'll see what's going to happen now. 
Um, he does know that Dude. there is one fireball in the hand of the mage. If the mage has got another fireball, he's probably dead. If he doesn't kill the 5-7 this turn, so he doesn't have much of an option left. <clears throat> and this is how mages like to play. It's all dangerous times up at the, the top turns. At sort of range, oh you know, my turns. god, he gets Shadow tense. Flame. Did he? Yeah, Shadow well, that's Flame. that's potential board clear, son. Yep, Love it. It. It, doesn't, it doesn't kill the... Um, Image because that's not uh, it doesn't deal damage to the hero. Yeah, of course, but um, all right, he's still assessing his options here. Um, I sort of wonder as well is Manju running a pyroblast somewhere in this deck. We are in the bottom third, I guess, of the deck now, so I'm starting to exhaust all the options and all the synergies. He's gonna have to kill oh, yeah, his look own mountain the... giant here if he wants to clear the five seven with the shadow flame. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, I know, I but know. he doesn't want to. That's why he's hesitating. Yes, um, it's all ice gonna happen block. within two to three turns. For sure. yeah. yeah, the ice block is gonna be the crazy part right now. That's gonna save Manju. I mean, he doesn't have to shadow flame to kill the Archmage Antonius. He can just hit. Archmage into Nice and kill it and keep the, the guy on the board. Um, what else has Allura got in that hand then? Uh, just the Iron Big Owl, the Acidic Swarm Ooze, which is useless against the Mage, as well as a Shadow Flame and a Hellfire. Yeah, look, I guess maybe the play would just be hit Antonitis and um, put some board presence down. Um, little does he know, Manji's got a, got a Flame Strike and an answer for that. But uh, the only other option he had would be has would be to go for the face, I think. Ooh, flame strike value all over again. That's it. And he gets another fireball. I guess it's game double fireball, top deck fireball there. There you go. Flinging fireballs all day. That's what mages love to do. Yep, indeed. So that's a win there for Manju, and it's bringing this particular series between the two of them into a bo. Three, the, the third and final game, which I will ask if they are gonna want to play that today.